What happened to this missing woman? Many people are suspecting the worst. My family is just destroyed. Uh, we just don't know what to do. It feels like, like a dream. Police are investigating this case as a murder. Police now taking a long, hard look at her estranged husband. We always knew there was, you know, problems in the marriage. Have anything to do with her disappearance? Nothing at all. Relatives say Sid Torres threatened suicide. I'm going to get a gun and end it all. Ever since they got married, please, okay? Oh, really? It's been a rocky relationship. There is no evidence. I'm hoping, I'm praying, I'm God, that she's alive. Tonight, the mysterious disappearance of a mother of three takes a very grim turn. According to brand new search warrants, police now believe. 38-year-old Valette Torres may have been murdered. Look at this beautiful woman. Does her estranged husband know more than he is saying? Sid Torres reportedly uh, said that Valette was missing. He's the one who reported her missing April 2nd. He says he's not responsible and he has no clue as to how or why she vanished. Have anything to do with her disappearance? Nothing at all. I'm counting the hours, I'm counting the minutes, and I'm hoping, I'm hoping she comes back. We asked him and his attorney to appear on our show, but we have not gotten a response. They're invited on any time. Meanwhile, police have seized several items from the couple's home. They swabbed Mr. Torres's mouth for DNA. They took hair and fingerprint samples from them. They're also testing paint scrapings off of his car. Valette's family, um, they say the couple had a very rocky 13-year marriage before splitting up about three months ago. A judge awarded custody of their three children to their maternal grandparents earlier this month, and that's after the husband allegedly threatened to, quote, get a gun and end it all. When I got the call that that allegation was out, I became very concerned because I do feel that it was a viable threat. So, yes, I was quite concerned. Will all the evidence, the new evidence police collected, help vindicate him or the opposite? Straight out to Valette's sister, Najiva Blanco. I can only imagine, Najiva, that these uh, past few weeks have been hellish. They've been sheer torture for you and your family. Um, you have said repeatedly there is absolutely no chance that Valette would leave willingly, leave her three children and disappear on her own voluntarily. So what's your gut feeling as to what really happened to your sister? Well, my only uh, gut feeling is that somebody has to have done something to her. Because like I've said before, and I know my sister and all the people that know her can tell you, that she just loves her children too much to just disappear on them. Well, uh, her husband, Sid Torres, insists he had nothing to do with his wife's disappearance. He says his focus is staying strong for his three kids. Listen to this. It's no easy to stay together. All right, I got three kids that I got to fight for. If I don't keep myself together, my kids will be gone. Now, later this month, a judge is going to hear his plea to get custody of his kids back. Uh, right now, they're with the maternal grandparents, uh, Najiva. Um, first of all, has your brother-in-law told you what he was doing that night? Does he have an alibi? I understood that um, your sister dropped the three kids off with him. They were estranged. She's living at another place, not the family home. She drops the three kids off with him and then goes out to dinner with another man who has been described in reports as her new boyfriend. Correct me if I'm wrong. Is that the situation? Well, from what I understand, uh, my sister uh, gave him the kids. He actually went to pick them up for this weekend, which is something that doesn't happen all the time. The kids spend weekends with my mom because she works on weekends and he is usually not around on weekends and uh, so the normal thing for the kids to do every weekend is to go to my mom's and that weekend my mom called me and was very surprised that the kids weren't there and I just tried to calm her down and said well maybe this weekend she decided to give them to him and maybe he's watching them um, so I understand he picked them up for the weekend but after that, I don't know what happened. Well, the oldest one is, what, 12, my understanding 12. is? Yes. Have you been able to talk to the 12-year-old and say, what happened, honey, that night? Did Daddy go anywhere that night, or did you stay with him the whole night and watch TV? 
Um, I think she said they went to the movies that night. Um, and then after that, I guess they went home. You know, she only said we went to the movies and she spoke to her mom and her mom said, I'm going out to dinner. And she said, okay. And they Did went Did she home say she went that. to the movies with her dad? Yeah, uh, I think I understand that he took them uh, to the movies. He took the three kids to the movies that night. That's what so, I understand. Dr. Dale Archer, uh, your thoughts. I mean, at this point, I would assume that police have a complete timeline of everything they did. They're going to get the ticket stubs for the movie. Um, and, and the question, obviously, is uh, they, have, they have focused on this, this man. Well, uh, I, again, we invite him on at any time or his attorney to talk. I have no idea what he was doing. He could have been at the movies with a double feature with the kids the whole night till dawn. But what do you make of it? Well, you're right. The police have said he's a person of interest. And then we hear this, that he has what sounds like a very good alibi, that he is with his own kids watching a movie. And then you have to wonder, well, why haven't we put all that together into... Uh, I, I don't understand. I mean, it well, really doesn't make well, any look, sense. I mean... A movie lasts an hour and a half. What happened after the movie is the question. You know, how, how long was the gap before she came home from her uh, from the restaurant wherein her car was found in the apartment complex, not in front of the apartment? Was there surveillance? Was she with anyone else at the time, this alleged man? We don't know. There's so many questions. So to say that he's a person of interest, but because he's got an alibi and went to the movies that he's off the hook, I don't think so. Um, I want to go to Najiva again. Uh, do you have a message for the estranged husband of your missing sister? The only thing that I would tell him is that he should be thinking of his children all the time. And if he knows anything at all, just to think of his children. You know, the children, they need their mom. And, and if he loves them that much, then he needs to understand that that's, that's the one thing that he can do for them. Find their mom. Get their mom back. If he knows anything, he needs to say it, and he's now a person of interest, so the police are gonna be asking him questions, and, and I hope he understands that this is the most important thing, to find her, to find her. From what you know, has he helped with the search? Has he been out there, like, pounding the pavement, looking for her? No, not with us. I mean, we have done it ourselves, my family, my brother, myself, Friends of hers from high school have met with us. Uh, friends that we haven't seen in years, co-workers have met with us, have walked the pavement, like you said, and gone through shopping centers around her house, distributing flyers, trying to keep the story alive, trying to look for her. And he hasn't been there. He hasn't been around. He hasn't shown that he's looking for her, at least not to us. If he is, I want to see it in the media, too. I want to see somebody covering him, you know, showing that he's doing that, you know? I mean, he wants his children back. Does he want her back? Uh, now, police executed search warrants at the Miramar, Florida home that Bellet and Sid used to share, which is outside Miami. They took 28 items, bricks around a flower bed that had strange marks on them, bath towels, female shorts that had some kind of stain that might be blood, we don't know. They also seized a Bible from his uh, white Jaguar and some paint scrapings from the same car. Steve Moore, what do you make of them, especially taking bricks around a flower bed? Some reporters outside the, head, the house claimed they thought they saw some kind of smear on those bricks. Yeah, the, the, their standard operating procedure isn't, oh, and don't forget the bricks. Uh, that had to be a very specific pull from them. Uh, they had to see something. They had to see something that is interesting enough to actually dislodge these bricks. There's something important there. The police have got more information than we have. They've heard about the movie. There's, they're still interested in him. They know something we don't. And the things that they took to me are just an indictment that they've got something. All right. Well, uh, I want you to know, Najiva, we're staying on top of the story. Please contact us if you have any new developments. We are going to do what we can, and our hearts go out to you. We're so sorry you're going through this. I know it's hellish.